The Invisible Man by H. G. Wells. And today we are going to do chapter number 13. Mr. Marvel discusses his resignation. Well, it seems to be a pretty funny title for a chapter because Marvel wants to resign from a post that he has been threatened to take by the invisible man and what this post that he holds is that of an accomplice a partner to the crimes of the invisible man and so in this chapter we have just two characters as you see mr marvel and the invisible man and let us see what goes on chapter number 13 so In this chapter, uh, the character of Marvel is being beaten up. Strangely, Marvel is being beaten up and his arms severely twisted by the invisible man. And why is this happening? You would ask the question that, you know, why is he being beaten up by uh, the invisible man? Because in the previous chapter only we have seen that Marvel has helped him to get his books and some clothes from the inn and uh, so that the invisible man could carry forward whatever plan he has made. But after his escape, from the inn if you remember a uh, marvel had escaped but what was the invisible man doing the invisible man was busy beating up the people of iping he was busy breaking up the windows at the inn and after marvel escapes he has a lot of time to think what had happened And he decides to escape. So he thinks that, you know, before I am badly caught up with this madman, let me escape from here. He considers the invisible man as a madman, a very dangerous man. Of course, he has seen how dangerous he can be. If somebody can beat up a whole village, what can he do with this man who is already a pretty timid person we we know the character of marvel so what does he do marvel decides to escape but unfortunately he had not gone too far when the invisible man catches up with him and gets hold of him so now the invisible man has caught him escaping with his precious books and his clothes and that is why he is being beaten up and his arms are badly twisted by the invisible man this is what the reason is and now poor marvel he never expected to be beaten up you know he says that um, marvel um, asks to be you know forgiven and to be let go um, because he thinks that he is not the suitable candidate To be an accomplice of the invisible man so while he is being pushed forward and while he is being threatened he gives a number of excuses for 
for his resignation so he says please let me go i want to resign i don't want to be your accomplice anymore and for this reason he gives a number of excuses the first excuse, excuse that he gives that you know he is no good he is a miserable man he is of no help to the invisible man so he says what will you do with me i am of no use to you i am just a very poor tool i am a poor accomplice to your whole plan so just let me go when that does not work he says i am completely useless you can say that i am useless to you and so uh, you know i am not even a strong man i am not strong and so just let me go he says i have no strength to help you so you'd rather let me go what is the third thing he says that he has a weak heart and so he will not be able to bear so much burden that is being put on him and so it is better if you let me go and next he says uh, you know i may or rather he may mess up the plans and prove to be a disadvantage to the plans of the invisible man he says rather than being of any help i may actually prove to be the opposite and i may mess up your plans so he says please let me go and lastly he just says okay fine he says i want to know he demands to know how he would benefit he says what is there for me in this whole thing i am doing it for you but you know i don't benefit so he says what is my benefit you tell me or just let me go so in this scene even though poor marvel is suffering but all these excuses that he makes it makes the scene rather comical and he says i want to uh, you i just want you to let me go this is how the resignation takes place.